All right, so we're diving into Qigong today. And I gotta say, the idea of like moving slower to get more energy, it always kind of felt, I don't know. A little counterintuitive. Yeah. yeah. Like shouldn't more energy equal moving more faster? But then I started looking into the research and it's clear there's a lot more to it than just like waving your arms around slowly. Absolutely. And a big part of that is this concept of qi, you know, this vital life energy that's flowing through us. Qigong is really about understanding and working with that flow. Yeah. And it's got a history spanning, well, centuries. It's not just a trendy workout. Okay, so let's break down this qi thing a bit. It's not something they usually cover in like high school biology, at least not mine. What is it exactly? <laughs> right. It's a core idea in traditional Chinese medicine. Yeah. And it's basically the vital energy that animates all living things. Think of it like your internal battery pack almost. And Qigong, with its emphasis on breath work, slow movement, mindfulness, it's like plugging yourself in for a recharge. So less about building muscles or running a marathon, more about cultivating this like inner energy source. Exactly. And what's really cool is that while it's rooted in these ancient practices, modern science is starting to understand how it works. Like there are studies showing Qigong can have a positive effect on cortisol, you know, the stress hormone. Oh, now you're speaking my language. My to-do list already feels less intimidating. But beyond just stress, you mentioned that in traditional Chinese medicine, they use Qigong for overall well-being. What else can it help with? Well, something that really jumped out at me was its potential for dealing with pain. I mean, there's actual research being done on Qigong and its effects on chronic pain, like even things like fibromyalgia or chronic lower back pain. Wow, see, I had no idea about that. I always just thought of it as a way to relax or, you know, maybe improve focus a bit. This adds a whole new dimension. It does, and it goes back to that mind-body connection. With Qigong, you're moving mindfully, paying attention to your breath, to how your body feels, and that increased awareness can help with things like balance, coordination, all sorts of things. It really is like hitting the reset button for your whole system. It makes you wonder, in a world that's constantly telling us to go, Jogo, do go, could slowing down even for a few minutes a day actually be the key to accomplishing more? It's a fascinating thought, isn't it? What's even more interesting is that these practices like Qigong, they've been around for ages. They've been tested and refined over generations. Maybe those ancient cultures they really were onto something, something that can help us navigate the chaos of today's world. 